नमस्कार टुडे वील स्टडी एंटी भाइरल ड्रग्स वील स्टडी द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एंटी भाइरल ड्रग्स द मेकानिजम ऑफ एक्शन एंड यूजेस ऑफ एंटी भाइरल ड्रग्स सो बिफोर दैट लेट अस सी द भाइरस द भाइरस स्ट्रक्चर हैज थ्री कंपोनेंट्स द आउटर लिपोप्रोटीन एनवलप व्हिच कंटेंट्स द ग्लाइकोप्रोटीन्स ऑन इट्स सरफेस द इनसाइड there is the capsid layer consisting of capsomeres and the nucleic acid core uh, which may be either dna or rna so <coughs> these two capsid and uh, nucleic acid core together known as nucleocapsid so three components are the nucleic acid core the capsid and the envelope and uh, based on the nucleic acid core whether it is dna or rna we can have uh, two types of uh, virus that is dna virus and rna virus and uh, is a type of rna virus called retrovirus is also there uh, which has reverse transcriptase uh, because there is reverse transcription that is from rna to dna occurs dna to rna so dna to first there will be a negative supercoiling of dna to have two single strands of dna which by the action of dna polymerase will be converted to two new dna and the antisense strand of one strand is called sense strand and the other is antisense strand the antisense strand of dna by the action of dna dependent rna polymerase is producing messenger rna messenger rna and uh, that is that process is called transcription process transcription is required because uh, messenger rna has the message uh, to produce the specific proteins then there will be action of the transfer rna which will provide the amino acids required for the protein synthesis as per the information provided by the messenger rna but in the case of rna virus first this rna will be converted to dna so reverse transcription will be there and that reverse transcriptase enzyme is their own they have this enzyme in addition they have also protease enzyme the integrase enzyme um, protease and integrase enzyme uh, in addition to reverse transcriptase enzyme so that uh, example is human immunodeficiency virus hiv so virus <coughs> the main feature of virus is uh, they lack the protein synthetic machinery they depend on the host cell ribosome they bind to the host cell ribosome they have only the nucleic acid core <coughs> and then they will produce the rna and that rna uh, that messenger rna uh, will bind to the uh, host cell uh, ribosome and will uh, synthesize the protein required by the by the virus and let us see how this life cycle goes so first the virus attaches to the host cell adsorbs to the cell surface and then penetrate so there will fusion or penetration into the host cell and then it will be followed by uncoating so that the nucleic acid will be released so the dna virus will release the dna rna virus will release the rna and the dna uh, some more dna can be produced and dna will produce messenger rna and uh, similarly rna will also produce uh, more rna by rna polymerase action now this viral messenger rna uh, will bind to the host ribosome synthesize the viral proteins in some virus uh, like hepatitis virus hiv there is protease which will convert these uh, viral proteins into structural and functional proteins then they will be encapsulated or encapsidated so there will be assembly process and the daughter virus will form and uh, when uh, uh, the daughter virus are formed the host cell which is infected bursts to release the mature virus from the cell and sometimes uh, for boarding uh, they need enzymes for example in h1n1 virus there is the enzyme neuraminidase which uh, which helps in release of the mature virus so these are all the targets and another virus is the uh, retrovirus 
let us see first what are the targets here and first we can inhibit the attachment of the virus or we can directly kill the extracellular virus then we can inhibit the attachment the adsorption and penetration of the virus uh, into the cell the or, or on coating of the virus we can also inhibit then we can target uh, the nucleic acid synthesis by inhibiting dna polymerase or rna polymerase we can also uh, inhibit the protease this uh, we can inhibit the assembly we can inhibit the neuraminidase so all these are targets and uh, let us see the classification uh, then we will discuss that for retrovirus separately so antiviral drugs uh, the drugs which uh, inhibit uh, free extracellular virus like gamma globulins then uh, the drugs which uh, inhibit viral penetration and on coating amantadine remantadine the drugs which inhibit dna polymerase we can the dna uh, strand is having uh, bases uh, the bases like adenine guanine cytosine and thymine the adenine and guanine are the purine bases and cytosine thymine are the pyrimidine bases and in rna instead of uh, thymine there is uracil so these analogs can be used to which which uh, will bind to the dna polymerase instead of uh, the real base and can inhibit the dna synthesis so purine analogs guanine nucleoside analogs like acyclovir gancyclovir valgancyclovir pencyclovir famicyclovir valacyclovir rna nucleoside analogs like adafovir vidarabin pyrimidine analogs uh, then deoxyuridine derivatives like idoxyuridine trifluoridine cytidine derivatives like sidofovir and in addition to these uh, analogs of these bases we can have some non nucleosides which will directly inactivate the catalytic site catalytic site of the enzyme dna polymerase for example phoscarlet then uh, uh, we can also inhibit the mrna synthesis by inhibiting the rna polymerase enzyme like ribavirin which is an analog of guanosin or we can use the anti cell oligonucleotides which will inactivate uh, messenger rna first they will hybridize with uh, messenger rna and uh, inactivate them and cause fragmentation of messenger rna for example drugs like homivircel can be used and interference we inhibit transcription and translation at different stages we can also use monoclonal antibodies like palivizumab against uh, uh, the virus uh, uh, and uh, we can uh, inhibit the assembly by using drugs like methisazole we can inhibit protease inhibitors in case of hepatitis c virus uh, drugs like bosoprevir cimeprevir telaprevir glecafrevir like that then we can also use in case of h1n1 or swine flu virus we can use neuraminidase inhibitors like oseltamivir janamivir then uh, let us see the life cycle of hiv which is a type of uh, uh, rna virus coming under retrovirus because there is reverse transcription so the, the target of uh, hiv is the t lymphocytes uh, in which there is uh, cd4 receptors and the co receptor is the chemokine receptor 5 ccr5 or cxcr4 and the virus hiv let us see the structure of the hiv virus uh, on the envelope uh, it has glycoproteins so glycoprotein 41 and above the glycoprotein 41 there is glycoprotein 120 and these two have a role uh, uh, in uh, in the in the um, adsorption penetration adsorption and penetration or fusion of the virus into the t lymphocytes and uh, <coughs> you can see so there will be interaction of uh, gp uh, 120 and gp 41 with uh, cd4 and uh, ccr5 uh, 6 cr or 6 cr4 and there will be a penetration into into the T lymphocytes followed by on coating, 
so the it the virus will release its rna and by its own reverse transcriptase uh, the the rna will be converted to uh, viral dna and uh, then this uh, viral dna will integrate with the host cell dna to form this uh, pro virus pro virus and uh, from this pro virus messenger rna will be uh, synthesized so by the action of dna dependent rna polymerase the, the host cell will synthesize this, this uh, messenger rna and uh, from that uh, that messenger rna will bind to the host uh, host ribosome and uh, there will be protein synthesis then by the action of protease the uh, protease of hiv the, these proteins will be converted to structural and functional proteins and some genomic rna will also be synthesized from provirus and all of them together uh, assemble to form the new variant which will be released so um, the drugs we can use here uh, they they can target uh, uh, the ccr5 or these uh, glycoproteins and uh, they can target the reverse transcriptase they can target integrase the, which helps in integration of viral dna with host cell dna and they can target the protease so all these drugs can also be used so <coughs> the uh, glycoprotein 120 in actually interacts with the uh, cca ccr5 and glycoprotein 41 interacts with the cd4 so the cd4 glycoprotein 41 ccr5 glycoprotein 120 interaction occurs so in this way now we can have the drugs so they are called as anti-HIV drugs or anti-retroviral drugs and uh, are a part of anti-retroviral therapy ART. So first entry or fusion inhibitor uh, drugs which bind to GP41 subunit, uh, for example, N-fuvirtide. Uh, so they inhibit the entry or fusion. Then CCR5 antagonist which inhibit the interaction of viral GP120 with CCR5 co-receptor. For example, Maraviroc, Vikrivirok. Then we can have uh, drugs which inhibit the reverse transcriptase enzyme, which can be either nucleosides or nucleotides. So, uh, when there is uh, nucleoside plus phosphate, it will become uh, nucleotide. So, nucleoside uh, uh, analogs like thymidine analog, cytosine analog, guanosine analog, and adenosine analogs. And nucleotide uh, uh, analogs are adenosine monophosphate analogs are there and we can also have non-nucleosides which will directly bind to the catalytic site of the enzyme reverse transcriptase and in this way they can inhibit that re uh, reverse transcription so the thymidine analogs like gidofudin stabudin cytosine analogs like lamivudin jalcitabin m3 citabin guanosine analogs like avasavir adenosine analogs like didanosine, the nucleotide analogs or uh, nucleotide reverse transcriptase inhibitors NTRTI like uh, adenosine monophosphate analog like tenofovir. Then examples of non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors like efavirenz, nevirapin, delavirdin, rilpivirin, uh, doravirin. So all these are reverse transcriptase inhibitors. So we have discussed uh, the the drugs which inhibit the entry or fusion, the drugs which inhibit reverse transcription, then the drugs which inhibit protease enzyme, uh, protease inhibitors like uh, sacunavir, uh, indinavir, nelfinavir, ritonavir, amprenavir, fosamprenavir, lopinavir, darunavir, atajanavir, tipranavir, all these are protease inhibitors. Then we can have also drugs like integrase inhibitors, raltegravir, victegravir, dolutegravir, elvitegravir. 
and we can have a new drug called Bevirimat, which is a maturation inhibitor, which inhibits the processing of viral proteins to uh, make virus infectious. So the final processing of viral proteins which makes the virus infectious is inhibited by Bevirimat, uh, so there will be release of non-infectious virus. So this is uh, all about uh, the antiviral drugs and let us see so all these antiretroviral drugs are used in HIV or AIDS acquired immunodeficiency syndrome and let us see all for other drugs what are the uses in case of herpes simplex virus or varicella zoster the drug of choice is acyclovir or val acyclovir alternative drugs like uh, cidopovir vidarabine foscarnet can be used in case of cytomegalovirus, the drug of choice is gancyclovir, valgancyclovir, and alternative drugs like cidofovir, foscarnet, fomifircin can be used. In case of influenza, uh, the swine flu, you can have the drug of choice oseltamivir, and the alternative drugs are zanamivir, amentadine, rimentadine. Similarly, influenza B, the drug of choice oseltamivir, and the alternate drug is Janamivir. They inhibit the neuraminidase uh, which is required for uh, final um, uh, release, final release of the virus in case of H1N1 virus. So neuraminidase is required for body and release. Then um, for hepatitis B virus we can have drugs like interferon, alpha, lamivudin. The alternate drugs are adapovir, entecavir, for hepatitis C virus, the drug of choice is interferon alpha. The alternative drug is ribavirin. So this is all about the antiviral drugs. Thank you.